Hi there, welcome back to my channel. A few months ago, I made a video about things foreigners like about Finland. In the video, I listed a variety of opinions of international people living in Finland, which I found online, such as YouTube, Twitter, blog posts, and so on. Today, we'll be diving into the opposite topic, which is things foreigners don't like about living in Finland. Finland is a beautiful country with a relatively high quality of life and overall I'm satisfied with life here. But what are the things that international people and expats based in Finland don't really like about living here and what kind of complaints and difficulties they tend to have? I've gathered a list of 10 common complaints and some interesting examples or comments I found online. I will show you those points and see if I have a same opinion or not, or how I think about it. So please note that I don't necessarily agree with all the points I'm showing. So this is not the list of things I don't like about Finland, but I want to go through with my own views. Let's find out. One of the most common complaints is, as you probably know, <laughs> The cold and dark winters. You can see it everywhere, <laughs> with temperatures often dropping well below zero and daylight being insufficient. It can be quite challenging for those who are not used to it, or maybe even for most locals as well. For instance, I found a comment saying that I'm from the tropics and I thought I was prepared for the Finnish winter, but nope. <laughs> I've never worn so many layers of clothing in my life. I totally get it, <laughs> and in my opinion, what people struggled with is darkness rather than the cold temperature since it affects mentality. For me, I haven't had huge issues in handling these ones yet, but what annoys me more in winter is icy, slippery roads. When it snows, melts, and then the cold air freezes it again, <laughs> we get dangerous natural ice skating rinks. That's the moment when I feel that Finnish winter is killing me. <laughs> you have to wear shoes with studs, otherwise you'd have to walk like a penguin, <laughs> like slowly. I also get tired of winter everywhere, but you know, <laughs> I started feeling that it is what it is. And it's not only about life in Finland, but also other countries as well, such as other Nordics, northern parts of North, North America, and Russia. And anyway, luckily Finnish houses are in general warm and cozy, so probably this is not the point I dislike the most. Another point that many foreigners mention is the high cost of living. I hear this a lot. I got similar comments for my videos as well. Although salaries in Finland are generally high, so are the prices for everyday items such as food, alcohol and transportation. To be honest, I have a different opinion on this. This is kinda sensitive topic as it highly depends on the financial situation of each person. But then, would you rather choose to live in a country where both of the cost of living and salary standard are lower. I probably wouldn't. Because if I focus on the actual amount of disposal income which I could use for traveling abroad, I'm likely to earn the amount I need easier in Finland than many other countries. For instance, uh, the cost of a round trip ticket to Japan is around 1000 euros and Regardless of whether you live in a country where the cost of living and salary level is low or not, the amount is same. That's why I would probably choose to live in Finland still. Also, while everyday items can be pricey in Finland, you don't need to spend much money to enjoy <laughs> free time here. <laughs> There are so many options of entertainment in other big cities like New York, London, Tokyo, Rome, Paris, such as a variety of shows and events. But in Finland, both in a good and bad ways, life is more simple. 
I think many people enjoy their free time in nature, sports, hiking, sauna, hanging out with friends at home, cafes, and so on. And you don't need to spend a lot for these hobbies. And that's something Finns are good at it, in my opinion. And that kind of way of life is one thing I learned here as well. So if I see the total spending for leisure, I wouldn't say the cost of living is too high here. But I'm talking based on my own experience only, and I'm sure the situation is different, especially if you have a big family. So please feel free to comment if you have different opinions. The third one is language barrier. Finnish is known as a difficult language for foreigners to learn, which can make integrating into Finnish society challenging. Many people struggle to learn the language, and this can lead to the feeling of isolation or frustration. Yes, it is indeed hard to learn, especially all the conjugations. But for me, you can still get lots of info in English here, and people speak good English anyway. So imagine if English isn't really like used in various aspects of society, most foreigners would feel language barriers much more. And I understand that we could feel isolation or frustration from Finnish being complicated to learn, uh, since I also feel it, but that's something we should just tackle as expats living in Finland, or just <laughs> ignore and accept the inconveniences. And actually there are two things which motivated me to learn Finnish. The first thing is I like how Finnish sounds. And the second thing is Finnish people appreciate it when foreigners learn Finnish. <laughs> they know it's not the easy language, so they kinda show respect if you are learning it. The fourth point is social reserve and introversion. This is another common complaint, as you probably know, or you might often often hear it <laughs> if you have foreign friends. You even hear lots of jokes about it as well. Many Finns are known for their introverted nature, which can be difficult for foreigners who come from more outgoing culture. Many people say that making friends and socializing can sometimes be challenging here. I have been in a situation where I got confused about shy introverted Finns, but nowadays, to be honest, I started feeling that uh, Finns in general are shy as people say. I think Finns talk when needed, not everybody of course, it highly depends on the person, and both introversions and extroversions can be seen in different situations. But are they really like shy. Of course, if you compare to people from outgoing cultures, Finns are not the most open and sociable people, <laughs> especially with somebody they don't know, and it's not common to have a random talks with strangers. Personally, it's easy for me to live in a country where I'm not expected to be very outgoing and sociable <laughs> all the time. Finns being reserved gives you personal space and doesn't give you pressure to keep talking. So overall, I actually like it. Or let's say it's easy in many ways. Regarding this topic, actually there is one thing I don't really like about some people in Finland, <laughs> especially men, which is that uh, some people don't really show their emotions. <laughs> like for example, when they eat some tasty meal and they enjoy it, they might say "huva," like which, which means good, without changing facial expressions. <laughs> Even though it doesn't look like they are enjoying it, but in most cases, this "huva" actually means good, so it actually means it. But they just don't show it, which can be a bit confusing <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes I feel like asking them, like, are you happy, mad, or you are not just interested? just because I personally like to show how I feel and share moment with others with clear expressions. Alcohol consumption. It is quite prevalent in Finnish culture and some foreigners may 
find it difficult to adapt to the drinking culture or feel <laughs> pressured to join it. I found this kind of comment online. Every time I go to a party or social event, it seems like everybody is drinking. I don't mind a drink or two, but sometimes it's just too much. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I also drink one or two and I'm not a huge alcohol consumer. At some student parties and some work related events, I have felt some pressures a little bit but not many cases. Like usually in my experience, people aren't interested in how much others drink. They just want to drink and get wasted and have fun. <laughs> Regarding the alcohol consumption, what concerns me more is uh, social issues related to alcohol in Finland. Some alcoholics make the atmosphere in the cities shady and sometimes they could bother you in a public transport or somewhere else. So for me, alcohol consumption itself and some sort of pressure to drink isn't a big problem, but other issues associated with alcohol addiction is something I don't appreciate. By the way, speaking of alcohol, what many hard drinkers complain about Finland is high alcohol prices, limited job opportunities. The job market in Finland can be competitive, especially for those who do not speak Finnish. While there are opportunities in certain industries, it may be difficult for others to find work. Some news articles introduce cases of people who have a master's degree but they are struggling to find a job here. As an international person working in Finland, I totally understand and agree with this point. There are of course many jobs that require only English but not surprisingly, the amount of jobs you can apply uh, with only English is still limited. And here I'm only talking about jobs that require higher education. Some people advise them to study Finnish to get a job. But it's not realistic to get a business level Finnish while you are passing your bachelor or master degree in a few years. So I think for most international people who want to find a job here, it might be wiser to take a different approach. This is a topic I can make one video with, so I'm not gonna go into deep detail. If you're interested, you can watch a video I made before. Anyway, for now, this is a job market situation in Finland, and that's something you can't really control. So, it's better to face a reality and see what actions you can take. Number 7. High taxes. Finland has a progressive tax system, which means higher income earners pay a significant portion of their income in taxes. This can be a shock for some expats who come from countries with lower tax rates. So about this topic, uh, if you like it or not, depends on how much you make as well. Basically, the social security, the cost of education and other supports in Finland are more fulfilling than many other countries because of the high taxes. So far, I don't have a strong complaint about it since I have got benefits from this in my life in Finland. More specifically, I got free education from a Finnish university even though I was a uh, foreigner outside from EU and other student benefits helped me a lot uh, when I was a student. And that money comes from taxes paid by residents here. I'm now working and paying income tax, so for now it feels like I'm paying back for it. However, I understand that some people might feel that they are paying relatively high taxes even though they are not getting enough benefits from it. So maybe I will ask myself about high taxes after I make a couple hundred thousand euros or even millions and pay even higher taxes than now. Number 8. Limited nightlife. There was this kind of comment about it. I moved to a smaller town in Finland and there is not much to do after 9pm. I miss the bustling nightlife of my home city. As this person mentions, outside the major cities, the nightlife and entertainment options may be limited in Finland. It could be an issue for some expats looking for more vibrant social scenes. 
especially if you are from a big city with plenty of options to enjoy nightlife and if you like it a lot, then you might find it a bit boring. I don't look for parties or clubbing usually, so it's not a big problem for me. But、uh, what I personally miss sometimes is the options of restaurants, other entertainments, and different events rather than the nightlife. On the other hand, I know some people who mention this point as a positive thing about life in Finland. Apparently, a city being quiet in the evening makes some people feel safer and peaceful. The next one is food. <laughs> This is one of the most common topics which international people in Finland talk about each other. Like common complaints include things like the cost of dining out can be high for the quality and the tastes <laughs> tend to be、uh, quite plain without spices. <laughs> Actually, this is one thing I struggled with on my first year in Finland. I didn't enjoy meals at student restaurants, and I remember I was taking my own salad dressings to school <laughs> with me every day. But somehow I started embracing Finnish food, and now I normally enjoy most food. However, I still think some meals at restaurants are a bit too pricey for the quality, so I don't eat out just to get full, but for the experience. For that reason, I usually cook by myself. Luckily, nowadays you can find many international ingredients, at least in Helsinki, such as Asian, Asian shops. So,、uh, it's improving my quality of life. If you aren't satisfied with food here, that gives you a good reason to explore new recipes or try making something cool with your friends. That's a great way to spend a weekend on your own or with somebody you like. The last one is short summers. When it comes to like, things people like and dislike about Finland, <laughs> there are usually one or two points about weather, temperature, and seasons. While Finnish summers are beautiful, they are also short, which may be disappointing for those who prefer longer, warmer seasons. I found an example comment such as I love the Finnish summer, but it feels like as soon as it arrives, it's gone again. <laughs> I wish I could enjoy more of the sunshine and warm weather. <laughs> I totally get it. While the beginning of spring is a time when you can feel that people are happy about upcoming summer, <laughs> the end of summer is a time when you see people looking a bit sad. <laughs> But anyway, like the first point, which is cold and dark winter, that's something we can't control and it is what it is. So I stopped thinking about how short Finnish summers are nowadays. So those were some common issues that foreigners and expats living in Finland tend to face. I think these are also things even Finns face and feel a lot. Of course, Everyone's experience is different, and this is not to say that Finland is a bad place to live, of course. As I said, overall, I like living in Finland. I made a video about things foreigners and international people usually like about Finland already. I thought it would be nice to make a video with the opposite topic. That's why I made this video to show different aspects. But it's always interesting to see the challenges people face when moving to a new country. Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Moika!